Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be embroidering some golf towels. I will insert a picture right here um, and I'm sure you already saw from the thumbnail. But in editing this video, I realized I never made an intro for it. I just immediately went into what supplies you need and then just started embroidering. I never did uh, an intro for it. So I have since already given these golf towels to my mom and stepdad. So I no longer have them to hold up and show you. Um, so I'm just going to insert a picture and then... Uh, and then go from there. But before we get into the video, I wanted to tell you guys about a new thing that I launched on my channel, which is channel memberships. Um, you might have seen it in one of my last videos that said eight sublimation designs for a for under $10 and there are two different tiers that you could choose from so if you are interested hit that join button down below and see if either of those tiers interest you I just opened up voting for the month of August for the set for that so if you do become a member you will be able to see that post in my community tab you can't see it right now unless you're a member and it has I think our options this month are back to school fall outdoors slash camping and I don't remember which other one <laughs> uh, it might have been just other and then put your suggestion in the comments so if you want access to those exclusive PNG images that you can sell in your own Etsy shop then consider becoming a member of my channel they are um, a surprise and they get released the first of every single month so like I said the voting for the month of August just opened up and they will be released August 1st via email so go ahead and check that out if you're interested um, and let's go ahead and get into this golf towel video. Okay, so here's everything we're going to need for this project. I have each of my designs printed from In Brilliance. So one's getting Pappy, one's getting Mimi. These golf towels I got from Amazon. I will have them linked down below. I'm going to be using Tearaway Stabilizer for this to make the back look really clean since it's going to be hanging from their golf bags. I don't want... Um, you know, uh, messy looking cutaway on the back. So we are using tearaway. And then of course, just different scissors to cut um, jump stitches and anything that I need to. And I don't think I'm gonna use water soluble stabilizer. Um, you can if you want to, but this isn't like a really thick, um, like it's, it's not like hairy, like terry cloth or, you know, minky or anything, it's pretty flat. Um, just with the waffle pattern. So I don't think I'm going to use water soluble stabilizer today, um, but you can if you want. That's up to you. So these are all of my materials. Um, oh, and I'm using my 8x9 Mighty Hoop. Okay, let's go ahead and take these out of the bags. I honestly don't even know how big these are. So there's um, a rivet through all three folded layers. So I'm just gonna take this carabiner off so that we can open it up all the way. Okay, perfect. So that actually kind of gives us a center point itself. Um, I'm immediately noticing that this bottom seam is crooked. Um, but the good part about this is it's just going to be hanging off of a golf bag. So it doesn't even have to be like super, super perfect. I know that sounds, uh, you know, a lot of people want it absolutely perfect. And don't get me wrong, I do too. But it's going to be hanging, so you're not going to be able to tell if it's just a little bit crooked. So I am just going to center it between the two folds. And honestly, just kind of eyeball where I place it. You guys know I consider myself a professional eyeballer. So I'm going to pin that in place and I'm going to um, place this underneath and get my stabilizer. Okay, so I have my stabilizer underneath and I'm just going to center my design in the hoop. Move it around if I need to. Okay, I think, I think that's pretty centered. do 
don't be afraid to adjust and move it around if you need to. If once you put on your the top part of your Mighty Hoop you don't like it, don't be afraid to move it around. And adjust as needed. I'm pretty happy with where that's at, so I'm going to pull this a little tighter underneath. Okay, and now I am going to keep this where it's at so that when I trace, I can see where um, what it's tracing over. And then at the last minute um, before I hit go, I will take this out and then stitch. So let's go ahead and head over to the machine and see if we like where it traces. Okay, so I have my threads all set, so now I'm going to trace. And I'm actually quite happy with where that's at, so I'm going to remove my paper and we will start stitching. Okay, so I just took it out of the hoop and I'm just going to cut these few um, jump stitches that I see. Okay, I think that's it. Now we're gonna turn it over and just tear Actually, let me get these first. Tear the tear away. So there we are. It looks much cleaner than if we would have used away because obviously we would still have a big square so this is going to hang much better from her bag so super clean so let me fold it over and show you what it looks like from the front super super cute so now let's go ahead and get this other one hooped and ready to go and then I will show you both of them up close
Okay, so in the spirit of transparency and honesty, I actually messed up on this one. I was off on my colors and I wanted the handles green and blue, but the blue ended up being on the ball. So the silver and blue got mixed up because his name was supposed to be in blue and the shadow on the ball was supposed to be uh, in silver and the ball was supposed to be white, but now the clubs are white and the whole thing's just, just backwards. But I think all in all, it still looks really good. So I'm just gonna go with it. So, <laughs> so we are going to clean up the back. up all these jump stitches okay and we're gonna tear our tear away I think I figured out what happened when I did uh, my mom's first. I brought in the image first and then the name, but in this one I did the name first and then the image. And when I wrote my steps down for the threads that I wanted, I did it as if it was like this, but the steps were all different for this one because the name was first instead of that. So you can see like the golf clubs are supposed to be silver, but it did the name silver first. And then it was supposed to be the black outline, but then on this one, the silver outline was next. So that's why this one got all messed up. Um, so this is what the design was supposed to look like. You know, the ball is white, but on this one it's silver and the shadow's blue. But I don't think it looks too bad considering I messed up on it. So I think it still looks really cute. And I think he'll still like it. I know he'll still proudly put it on his golf bag. But so, yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys next time.